Come out. Uh, are we recording? Okay. It's on? This it's on? Okay. 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 <clears throat> My name is Kurt McFit, and I'm addicted to sugar. Um, I've been addicted to sugar for about for about maybe 15 to 20 years now. Um, it's been terrible. It, it was a terrible experience. You know. Hello, my name is um, Squat Roberts, and I am addicted to sugar. I have been addicted to sugar for the last 28 years of my life. But bro, you're like 27. Well, that don't pay attention. To that does that's those are small details. Sugar, sugar has done some terrible things to me in my life. I, I became so addicted. I, I um, had to divorce my wife. I lost my job. Sugar is everywhere. Sugar is everywhere. There, there isn't many places you can go without sugar being there. You know, everything is sweet. You know, life, life is sweet, and so it, it's. All right, can we do this? Can we can we start over? Can we start over? I lost my car. I had to go to a sugar addiction resort and get help that way. You know, sugar really, really... Sugar had me doing some crazy things. Like, I did things I am not proud of. Oh, what the, what the, ah, 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 ah. Attacking standbyers, just trying to get, trying to find out if they've got like a Hershey Kiss or a piece of gum, and, and they had the nerve to come out with sugar-free gum. Like that was an insult to me, sugar-free gum. That, that's an insult. You wanna know how bad my sugar addiction was? I had to move to a trailer park. It was a uh, trailer 23. I had an old uh, 73 um, Pontiac missing a wheel on the front. It had the Firebird on on the hood, but it was rusted, so there was only half a Firebird. Be being addicted to sugar definitely ruined a lot of my relationships. You know, it came to a point where I was alone, alone like most of my time. You know just because I didn't I didn't want to socialize I just wanted sugar you know and and I mean from everyone you know I'd walk up and be like yo give me some sugar you know give me some sugar it was bad man it was bad like I I'm not I don't even I'm having a hard time talking about it you know right now just going back into that that time in my life you know it was it was rough I was looking at Starbucks one day and I, I walked in and just looking at the sugar packets. And this guy walked in because he was on a Tinder date and he was gonna get some action. And I I um I listened in on their conversation. He said, I brought you some flowers because you're so sweet. I need to think about that. So I went down to the Carquinez Regional Park in the East Bay and I was walking along the shoreline and I saw these white flowers and I just, I made a connection that there was, you know, because he had called her sweet, that these flowers must have been sweet. It, it was, it was really bad. You know, I knew it was bad when I would make a, a cup of coffee and I would, it would be like, you know, like most people these days, you know, they put about three or four scoops of sugar in their coffee, some two, some one. And I was putting like 11, 11 scoops of sugar in my coffee. And I thought that was the norm. You know what I did, bro? I, I went to bridge. You know, I will I will be frank with you. I won't front. I went to a bridge and I stood there and I wasn't gonna jump. I was not gonna jump, but I was on the bridge. I would wake up 
on park benches and not know how I got there. You know, I would not know how I got there. Kit Kat rappers all around me, you know. It, that's how bad it got, you know. And, and and around that time is when I met Squat Roberts, you know, and, and we both shared that, that addiction together. It was rough, you know. And um, I decided to go to the doctor. I decided I needed to go to the doctor about this. This was getting too terrible. It's too terrible. You know, I started hitting the gym, you know, my trainers, and they told me about this this revolutionary drug that could help you get over sugar addiction. And I was on it. I wanted that. I, I wanted I wanted to get over that addiction. And so um, my doctor prescribed me uh, this new revolutionary medication, and it was it was called uh, uh, self control. So you know, the turning point in my sugar addiction was um, taking self-control, starting to take self-control when I was presented with things that I really love. You know, I used to have a really bad ice cream habit and kicking the ice cream habit was really just taking self-control. And walking through the supermarket and looking at all the beautiful candies and the beautiful wrappers, you know, and taking self-control again, once again, I was able to go forward in life. I started taking self-control about a year ago, and it's it's been the best thing anyone has ever done to me, you know. I send flowers to that doctor's house every month, uh, every month, and he's got a restraining order against me, but I'm still going to send the flowers because, because it changed my life. Self, self control, you know. I wasn't going to the Krispy Kreme anymore. You know how good Krispy Kreme is? Like, it's not better than Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting a text message. It's, 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 yeah, see, that's that's my that's homie. That's Squat right there. Squat, yeah, he texted me right now. He, um, he just took some self control, yeah. But see, like, like Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme is like not as good as Dunkin' Donuts, but it's really close. It's really close, and self-control helped me to kick, kiss. It helped me. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I got Experian on my cell phone, and I made sure that I watched my credit score on a daily basis, and I watched it go up. I watched it climb up because of self-control. I drive a Chevy Cobalt. It's got um, beautiful fenders, very shiny fenders, and a beautiful bumper cover and it's red, and um, I, I no longer live in a trailer park. I live in Walnut Creek. That's right, I live in Walnut Creek. I live in Walnut Creek. My advice to anyone out there is if you are, you know, struggling with sugar addiction, take self-control. It is the best thing I've done for myself probably the best thing that I've seen happen to my boy Squat Roberts you know he's got a he's got a Chevy Cobalt now like he's doing great in life like seriously a Chevy Cobalt like that's amazing so I mean I, I would recommend that to anyone I really appreciate you guys coming out and interviewing us man because people need to know about this drug people need to know about self-control for real for real, like, okay? Man, I ain't even wanna think. Yo, thanks for coming by. I, I gotta go. I need to take some. <clears throat> I'm dead. Self-control is a revolutionary drug that has been extracted from some of the most successful people. Fight the onslaught of delicious sugars, delicious greasy foods that when eaten in excess lead to diabetes, depression, obesity, etc. People who have taken self-control have suffered from extreme happiness and overwhelming success. Side effects have been documented as happiness, glee, joy, discipline, among others. Go to your nearest fitness guru, self-help guide, or doctor and get you some self-control today. It even works on pets. And I'm just gonna talk really fast to make this part sound official. Can't really talk this fast though, and eh, whatever, self-control. And uh, my credit score dropped down to 520. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo. <laughs>